Welcome to another video here at Cars Unlocked. Today I'm with the 2023 GMC Terrain Denali. My name is Christopher. We're going to go through the ins and outs and with an MSRP of $45,942, we're going to help you determine if this is the right buy for your family. So the terrain was redesigned in 2018. For 2023, we don't see too many changes. This one is the Denali package, like I mentioned. So you get a lot of chrome here. This is top of the line and it comes with this gorgeous black exterior. When we look at the front, we can see we have our LED headlights, fog lights down below and nice chrome accents. You have forward sensors and then you have this beehive front grille here with our GMC badging, all in chrome. We have a camera right up below the M there. That's gonna help when you're parking. All right, so before we take this thing on the road, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my boy Jordan over at Welland Chevrolet. If you guys are in the Niagara region and you want to inquire about any GM products, give him a call. I'm gonna put his information in the description below and check it out. Thanks so much for letting us try out this GMC Terrain. So this one comes with a 1.5 liter four cylinder engine with the turbo and it's attached to a nine speed automatic transmission. It's gonna give you about 171 horsepower and about 203 uh, pounds feet of torque. So let's give it a quick test. Not a bad drive. I definitely like how it accelerates, but there's a lot going on here in terms of like features and technology. One thing that I don't like that I could do without is how you shift from your park to your reverse. All the buttons down below here, as opposed to a traditional shifter knob. I like me personally, a traditional shifter knob and using the uh, manual selection of your gears doesn't make sense with these buttons. So that's probably my first, uh, my first beef. Let's check out the side profile. So this looks great here with this ebony twilight metallic exterior color. This terrain, it's gonna come with these 19 inch aluminum alloy rims. You have LED accents on the mirrors, cameras on the mirror as well. And then we have this nice chrome side sill with our Denali badging. And the chrome continues. There's a few little subtle accents on the handles. And then you have your luggage racks as well. So before you jump in, you can remote start the vehicle. You just need to push that there and it's gonna start up. Now we're ready to go, warm the car up, get it nice and cooled down on a hot day like today. And let's jump in and look at the main business area here. We have an eight way power adjustable driver's seat. I'm just gonna push the start button here to get it all started. And then this seat is heated and ventilated for both seats. You also have Bose audio sound system that you get upgraded with this Denali edition. And you get these leather seats with this kind of white stitching, which I think is pretty, pretty suave looking. And then they kind of have this kind of faux wood accent here. Feature wise, you have this uh, heads up display right here. You have the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Um, so there's a lot of nice features. Um, a few things when you're backing up, the backup camera is really high definition and it, the seat will vibrate for you if you're, um, it has the object detection as you're backing up. If someone's in the backup camera or something's in the backup camera, you'll feel the vibration right in your seat, which is another neat feature. So you get this kind of boxier styling on the terrain and it really shows in the back here. Um, we do have another camera as well, right above our license plate there. We have our rear parking sensors on the back and LED taillights. There's a little shark's fin antenna there, and then we have this nice brake light above the windshield. So when you use the foot activated lift gate, it's actually very neat. You can wave your foot down there, and then you'll see the GMC symbol right on your shoe, and that's how you know you're in the right spot. So it really helps you're not guessing. And let's take a look at the trunk here. 29 cubic feet of trunk capacity. We have a little hidden storage underneath. This one comes with the cargo mat. And then you do have a flat folding area if you fold these seats down, just using the levers here. That's pretty neat. Very easy to fold them down and it's a pretty flat storage space. 
It's 8.3 liters per every 100 kilometers on the highway, and that's about 28 MPG. For all my American friends, shout out to you. Here's your Cars Unlocked fun fact of the day. In actually 1929, GMC manufactured trucks specifically for transporting circus animals, transporting things like giraffes, elephants, lions, tigers. They made specific trucks and they really found some innovation while trying to meet those needs of the circus animals. Subscribe for more fun facts. Overall luxury, like the Denali is the, like the luxury higher end. That's what you're, you, what you're expecting. Do I feel that in here? Not as much as you felt the Denali name in like 08 or in those older years. Uh, the Denali kind of meant something bigger, um, but this is still a lovely ride and a nice smooth vehicle for an SUV. So obviously you get the Apple CarPlay, the Android Auto. This one comes with GPS navigation already. And the touchscreen is, uh, the touchscreen actually flows very, very smoothly. Definitely like this touchscreen. And you have the Sirius satellite radio as well. What do we got on here? Jonas Brothers. Jumping in the back seat here. There's actually quite a bit of space back here. Pretty comfortable. The seats kind of fold. You can see I'm kind of leaning back quite a bit um, versus leaning forward. These seats are heated and there's two USB outlets for the kiddos. And then you also have a power outlet there for them to charge their devices as well. So um, really nice back here. I also like how there's the hard back on the seat. It's only on one seat, which is strange. I don't know why they didn't put it on both seats. And then look at this. You have a full panoramic sunroof all the way to the back and that's just going to let a bit more light into the vehicle headroom i'm 5'9 so i'm okay um someone a little taller might have a, a couple issues hitting their head on the roof for storage space as you're driving here in the center stack there's a little hidden storage i like that they've made some room in the center stack and you have a couple places to put your phones coffees there's cup holders in each door there is a lot of storage and I do feel comfortable in this seat now that we've been testing it out. You also have like your blind keeping assist. So you have your blind spot monitor. It will have your lane departure warning. And this one has the like adaptive steering and the adaptive cruise. You have your forward emergency brakes. So um, everything is pretty set up. And when you're using the cruise control, you can kind of set it to keep yourself a safe distance from the car in front of you. That's great if you're on the highway. There's also a wireless charger as well. Actually a pretty nice place to store your phone. It really hugs the phone nice. And then it vibrates once you put your phone in to connect your phone. There's also USB-C and a USB port as well if you want to plug your phone in. And you can connect to the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto once you do that. Uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the, with the terrain. You guys comment below what are your thoughts on um, the GMC products. Have you driven a, a newer terrain? Hopefully they redesign this soon um, because it's been around since 2018. So maybe we'll see a refresh soon. Comment below if you guys have any, any words on that. But yeah, let us know what you think. If you guys are interested in trying this vehicle, now you've heard my thoughts about it. Um, I would recommend you go see my pal Jordan, like I said. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Very easy to support your creator. Just give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. Shout out to the guys at Vision Lux for keeping the camera steady and editing the videos for us. We'll see you in the next one.